But let's continue our focus on the IT space. We have Ganesh Natarajan, the Vice Chairman and MD of Zenza Technologies, joining in to talk to us about uh, the IT space along with 100 crore worth of deals that Zenza Tech has signed. Hi, Mr. Natarajan. Thanks very much for joining in today. Uh, before we get to an industry outlook, can you give us more details of, this, uh, of these multi-deals that Zenza Technologies has signed, which is cumulatively, cumulatively worth 100 crores? Yeah, thanks. And let me let me start with a little bit of an industry perspective because it will set the deals also in context. See, I think we all worry too much about some sporadic information here and there. What is the future? The future is really about, I mean, if you have a good story in application support, the whole ERP space, in fact, I mean, integrating applications for the new enterprise and digital, which is really, you know, helping people to then leverage new technologies like cloud, social media, etc. And I think anybody, and I'm sure many of the large companies have a fully developed story. In Zensar, we've been building the story over the last six quarters, which is why I think the order booking in the last four or five months has been really, really good. So in this context, if you look at what we have signed, one is a very large deal, which is in the multi-shore infrastructure management space, which really means across the US, supporting desk side, providing a help desk service, and doing work in India for infrastructure management. The second deal, which is a smaller deal, is what we call Oracle Fusion Middleware, which is you know, really stitching together applications through a complete service-oriented architecture, which is the way people are doing it today. And the third is in data warehousing, because as all of you have heard of big data and analytics and everything else, so this deal is actually setting up a data warehouse where people can analyze decisions, do actu actual analytics, create these business intelligence solutions. So the reason we're excited is not just, I mean, the deals cumulatively are 100 crores, that's okay. But it kind of shows the trend in the marketplace that if you offer new solutions which enables people to get closer to customers and supply chain, you will be successful. I think so that's really what I'm very, very happy about. Mr. Natarajan, hi, morning. You have been associated with NASCOM as well. In fact, you still are. Uh, uh, what do you think is, uh, you know, is there, is there something going wrong? Because last week we had Infosys, uh, today we have TCS. Uh, both saying that you know they, they see problem points. Uh, this in an environment where uh, the U.S. economy is actually seeing quite a bit of recovery. But what, what do you think could be going wrong? Well, look, I mean, I saw it on your channel this morning, and I think there is a statement which you guys are not talking about, which is that TCS, I think, has said that mm. FI15 will be better than FI14, and I think that's a trend that all good companies will see. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, people who have invested in IM, invested in ERP, and invested in the digital enterprise will continue to grow. I am not, I mean, it is impossible for me to comment on whether they will grow 5% or 2% as you were saying this quarter and that could be very easily a, a kind of, uh, some kind of a sporadic uh, a problem with any customer or whatever. So I have no data on that. But I'm just saying that, look, the way we see the markets, if you look at the US economy, it's improving. Europe is certainly much, much better this year than it was last year. Markets like Africa, even the Middle East are growing. So I really see no need whatsoever to be concerned about the growth of the industry. Quarter yeah. to quarter, there might always be some aberrations here or there, company specific, client specific. But I can assure you, this industry is going to grow better in FI15 than it is growing in FI14. And the business demand is very much there. Yeah, Mr. Nasrajan, to be fair, we have highlighted the fact that uh, TCS did say that FI15 would be better than FI14. Uh, it's just that the market has uh, chosen to ignore that statement. Uh, uh, but, you know, again, c coming to the la next quarter itself, uh, why should the market be not concerned about that when the la two large companies are, uh, are not saying good things about the next quarter? No, you're talking about the current quarter. I agree. I mean, obviously, if if two companies are going to say that, look, they'll have muted growth, it is a matter of concern. So all I was trying to do is allay the fears about the sector at large. There will be company-specific issues. There will be quarter-specific issues. But if you look at it in a slightly longer term, I mean, for the entire sector over the next four to five quarters, I, I'm just saying that, look, there's no need to be concerned about growth. Growth is very much there because customers are spending money and customers are spending money on both old technologies and new technologies. So I think that's my simple point that let's not get too carried away in one direction or the other by a, a quarter here or there. I think it's the long-term trend that is very positive for this industry as we speak. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Mr. Natarajan, just concentrating on the Indian market, how is that panning out in terms of deals? Because TCS in its analyst uh, meet did mention that Q4 could be subdued because of the volatility that they've seen specifically in the Indian market. Does Zenzar have exposure to India? What are your revenues which you uh, get out of India? And is there any sort of volatility that you're seeing? What is your sense on the Indian market? 
Well, quite honestly, our revenues in India are less than 2% of our overall revenues. And I mean, I, all of you know this. I mean, the Indian market has been very slow, primarily because the big spenders, the capital goods sector, the manufacturing sector, even retail has not really been all that great over the last, I think, four quarters. Uh, government spending has also been muted, particularly in the last, I think, four or five quarters. What Zensa does is, in fact, we're doing a very large 50 crore engagement for one of the electricity distribution companies. So that's going slow, but going well, and it's really on track in terms of deliveries. And we also do a fair amount of work in SAP and Oracle, which is really in helping our manufacturing customers. So I would think, like everybody else, we'll have a slow growth in India. I don't see anything happening spectacularly even in the next six months of the first of the next financial year. But I think it'll come back. And India is an interesting market where you can actually implement a lot of new solutions around cloud, around mobility, etc. So I won't write out the market. Is it significant to us in our revenues? The answer is no. And if it is significant, I think you will see some slowness in companies which do a lot of work in the domestic market. What about Europe in particular? How is uh, that shaping up? Uh, uh, and for the next financial year, uh, what kind of growth can we expect in the European business? See, Europe is good. I mean, if you look at even the previous quarter where we reported numbers, we had 11.5% growth in Europe, which was excellent. And I think the trend will continue because continental Europe was very, very slow. I mean, we all know the European crisis, except Germany, nobody was doing well. But today, if you look at Germany, look at Holland, look at Switzerland, you know, look at most of the markets, including Nordic, I think there's growth. UK is still a little slow, but I think UK is growing, which is good news. So that's why I said, I mean, if you take UK, continental Europe, US, Africa, Middle East, all these are going to be growth markets next year. So both for Zensar and I think for most of the significant players in the industry, you will see a good growth here. Okay. Mr. Natarajan, I just had one last question on the outlook for the industry because what was highlighted between TCS and Infosys was maybe it could just be, uh, you know, company focused and not industry focused. And the reason I say this is that TCS did mention that there was no ramp down in cancellations for TCS, whereas Infosys has mentioned in their outlook or their meet with the analyst that there was softness which has taken place in retail, high tech and project cancellations. So at the end of the day, for an IT company, does it just narrow down to innovation, which you also spoke about in terms of offering new solutions to clients and Hence, the slowdown that we're seeing for IT companies is possibly more company-specific as opposed to industry and geography-specific. See, it's like this. I don't think the, the glory days of 20% growth are going to come back anytime in the near future. So all of us will have to be satisfied with, I mean, let's call it 10 to 15% growth, depending on which company, which sector, and which is really what NASCOM has said as well. You know, if you look at 13 to 15% growth, it's an aggressive growth target. It can be done. I guess it will be done by many of the companies. But doing, I mean, expecting to go above 20% is impossible. Expecting that it will only be single digits, I don't think you need to worry about that at all. So I would, I, would call, I would suggest to people that if you factor in growth of between 10 to 15% and do your numbers based on that, then independent individual companies will come in at different points of time. But as I said again, and I'm repeating probably for the fourth time, nothing wrong with the markets. If you have a good value proposition, you will succeed in the next four to five quarters. Not a problem. Okay, fair enough, Mr. Natarajan. Thanks very much for joining in. So that's uh, Ganesh Natarajan of Zenza Technologies talking about the 100 crore worth of deals that the company has signed up, along with the fact that right now they do not envisage much of a slowdown taking place in the IT.